All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're making a beautiful Thai Muslimang curry. This is a wonderful curry with beef and potatoes simmered in a lovely coconut sauce. Guys, it's sweet, salty, spicy, delicious. So come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab our beef. Now, guys, normally you'd be slow cooking beef in this curry, but I've got some of this steak, which I've just defrosted, got left over. So we're just gonna cook this in a little bit of a different way. So it doesn't matter if you're using steak or if you're gonna slow cook it with beef. For the time being, we're just gonna finely slice our steak. Now let's get that into another bowl. We're gonna drizzle over a little bit of peanut oil. And then I've got our Muzzaman curry paste. And guys, for this recipe, we are just using shop-bought Muzzaman curry paste. Now let's squeeze over probably about a teaspoon. And then using our hands, let's mix that all together. Now, do not put this in the fridge. We're gonna pop that aside, let that marinate, okay? But we still want that to come up to room temperature because we're gonna make the curry sauce and that is gonna be really quick. Now, for the curry sauce, I'm gonna dice up a few of these baby potatoes. And I've got one onion, which again, we're gonna roughly dice. Now, let's get the pan on a nice kind of like medium gentle heat. We need to add a good splash of peanut oil. Now let's get the potatoes and the onions in. We wanna give that a little toss. Pinch of salt. And we're just gonna cook them for probably about five minutes until they get a little bit of color on them. Okay, these have probably had a little bit too much color on them. I uh, got distracted setting up the photo studio, but don't worry about that. So what we are gonna do now, guys, is just grab the curry paste again. Let's squeeze in probably about, I don't know, about two tablespoons of curry paste. And then let's just mix that all together. And we wanna cook that out for probably about five minutes. Right, that is looking absolutely fantastic. So I've got one tin of cream coconut here. Let's pour that in. And then I've just kind of rinsed that out with a little bit of uh, cold water there. So I've got about half a tin of cold water. Now we're gonna pop a lid on that, bring it up to the boil and let that cook until the potatoes are nice and tender. Right, so guys, as luck would have it, I was uh, just in the fridge and I found these uh, kaffir lime leaves. Now, kaffir lime leaves are perfect to go into curries as well. So we're just gonna tear them up a little bit, just like we do with a bay leaf, get them in, mix them around, and we're gonna let them carry on cooking on there. Right, let's have a look at this. And that smells absolutely beautiful already. Okay, the potatoes are done. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we need to finish off the curry. So we want to season that with one handful, so roughly about a tablespoon of sugar. And I've also got this tamarind puree. So we're just going to add one, ah, maybe two teaspoons of tamarind puree there. That is fantastic, so let's pop that aside and cook the beef. Okay, I've got a frying pan, that's really nice and hot. So let's add a good splash of peanut oil. And guys, what do I always tell you? Cook in batches, don't overcrowd the pan. So let's get in half the beef there. We wanna give that a move around, make sure everything's in contact with the bottom of the pan. And because it's so thin, you know, it's gonna cook in literally minute, minute, two minutes, something like that. Okay, that looks great, so let's get that into the curry and serve.
Here we go, guys. Look at that. That looks absolutely sensational. And let me tell you now, oh, absolutely beautiful. And that is so quick and easy to make. Anyway, let's have a taste. Mm -hmm. Honestly, guys, that is sensational. Absolutely delicious. And you know what? That curry paste that I used, really, really, really good. Now, what we can do, if you want to see how we make this from scratch, instead of using a shop-bought Muzzleman curry paste, get in the comments, let me know. Give us the thumbs up if you like the recipe, leave a nice comment, and I will see you next week after I've thoroughly enjoyed the rest of this. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.